Welcome back to my channel, I'm King Dino and this is Baby Twyla. Have you just recently got yourself an ISO puppy? Or are you thinking about getting a puppy dog? Well, this is the video for you, but before we start this video, please go down and subscribe, like, ring that bell, and do all the rest of it. Tell everyone about us. All right, well, this video is all about this one. So let's get started. Press, press go, press go Twyla, press go. I thought we'd talk about a few different things that we've done with Twyla since we've got her. We received her at eight weeks old and now she's 14 weeks old and she's grown so much bigger and her little character's starting to come out. We're really getting to know her now and she's just the cutest little puppy, but she does bite a lot. Choo, choo, choo. Anyway, but we'll talk about different chew toys later in this video. But first of all, let's talk about crate training. Yes, Hence why we're in the bedroom, hence why you can see a crate next to our bed. No, it's not a cage, they call it a crate. Um, and we put her in this every night to go to bed to save her not sleeping on our bed. All right, let's talk about this. All right, guys, this is the crate that we purchased from Kmart. Um, as you can see, she loves it. She's in there right now. Now, it's pretty warm in this room today, so I think she's gone in there for her to cool down a little bit. Um, as you can see, we've got a blanket on top, which we put on there to make it look more like a den and make her feel it's like a little safe spot, space, safe space. Um, we keep this side open, so then at night, Adam sleeps on this side of the bed. He can see what she's doing, make sure she's okay. We have this little battery operator light that we turn on. We just put that on the outside of the cage. So then we can, you know, she can see us, we can see her. When she needs to go to the toilet, she'll whinge. I'll wake up, Adam will sleep. <laughs> and then I take her out to the toilet. Now, for the first week, she did this twice, maybe a night. But literally after the first week, she was, so that was, she would have been nine weeks old. And she was sleeping right through the whole night and getting up in the morning. She Mind you, she was getting me up at 6 a.m. in the morning. But now, the older she gets, um, I'm finding that she sleeps in longer, so that means I get to sleep in. Thank you, Twyla. Another point to make is to make sure that the bed that's inside, the doggy bed that's inside the um, crate, is the full size of the bottom of the base of the crate because you don't want an area where they can stand up during the night and think they can go to the bathroom. The bed, they look at it as a bed, so they don't want to obviously soil it. So just make sure it totally covers the base and you should be fine. She'll definitely let you know, or he will definitely let you know when they need to go to the toilet. All right, so let's move on to toys. So these are Twyla's toys. Let me go through them and tell you a little bit about them. So these two here, these are quite cheap. I'm actually taking these off her now because um, when you get it, it's a squeaky toy. And as you can see, it has a little squeaky thing here. She chewed it so much that she pulled that one out and she could have swallowed it. So luckily we caught her in time. So just be careful with these cheaper toys. All right. So. This one here I brought for her. I thought she would like it, especially because it's got Mickey Mouse on it. But unfortunately, no, she doesn't really use it. It hasn't been a success. Um, occasionally she's bitten it, but that's about it. Um, this one here we thought once we um, Adam goes back to work and she's by herself, these are one of those um, mats where you can rub some dog food or a bit of peanut butter and leave it and she can have a bit of a project trying to get all the bits and pieces of peanut butter out of there. Okay, all right, on to the soft toys. She loves playing with this. She just can't get enough of this soccer ball. It's been well used, as you can see, dirty, dirty, dirty. Um, she loves it. We have been washing these, so every so often Adam's been getting half of them washing them. She loves this one. This is probably her very favourite toy. She's had it since she's a puppy, and I think just because it's small and it's got little bits on it, she just loves it. She loves getting in a basket, curling up and chewing on him, or just sleeping on him. Um, and the same as Cowie. Cowie, he has been a great mate to her. Um, again, lot to small toy, lots of little bits to chew. Um, no pieces of plastic there that she can swallow. And has a squeaky inside. She loves it. Um, the big llama, she loves, but 
um, as a puppy, she was thought it was quite daunting because it was very big and she used to bark at it. But now she's grown to love it and fights it. And oh, also, I almost forgot this one. She's been fantastic. She's got the rope on her neck. She's got the hard bits of plastic so she can chew. It makes sounds in the wings. And as well, squeaky, of course. So that has been a really good toy for her as well. Again, lots of little tiny bits she can chew. She loves it. Her teeth love it too. Um, ball, we got these tennis balls. They're just as smaller than a normal regular size tennis ball so she can get it in her mouth. She loves playing fetch with that. So grab yourself a few tennis balls. They love them. You can't get enough. You're always losing them. So buy a whole big packet. Um, with all the hog toys, there's three of them over there. Um, well, two. There's three all together. And the, the pink one is a, a fake cog toy so anyway but i'm going to show you next um how to fill these with the cog spray and show you how much she loves it this will keep her busy and for ages going to show you how to use this stuff it's like a mousse um it's for your cog toys and i brought it from pet circle so if you're looking for it you can get it on their uh, website or otherwise you can probably get it at your local pet store i'm not sure anyway twilight heads going down there how you going how you going um yeah so anyway so what you're going to do you're going to shake it up and then get it and pour it inside now you can put other treats inside i'm just going to put a little bit in here today just for her to, ooh. So as you can see, it's coming out, ooh. Actually, I'll, oh, you know what, I'll go right out. I'll put a fair bit in there. All right, so it's like, it's like almost like, I'm, it's kind of like um, bone mar marrow, I suppose, you know, they're, it's like they're eating a bone and they're sucking that marrow out of there. But anyway, all right, let's uh, take her outside and see what she... Th 